Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the first lecture on topic clocks. Now, as far as the difficulty level of this topic is concerned, it's an easy topic from where you will find one or two questions in the aptitude exam. So, the way I'm going to approach this topic, there will be four or five sessions based on the requirement. And in every session, the focus would be on to first discuss the concept, to first understand the concept, and then we'll work on the optimization part. So, in today's lecture, I'll introduce the basics as well as one core concept which help us to answer the problem based on the first type. So that's the agenda. Let's move forward. Now the first basic thing which I want you to understand is uh, if you think about the maximum movement which can be made by any hand, be it minute hand, hour hand or second hand, you would say, hey, sir, the maximum movement which any hand can make in this clock ke andar, that would be 360 degree. For example, if I tell you that minute hand ka position is this. And if I ask you to calculate the movement made by minute hand in one hour, you would say that sir, minute hand one hour will come back to its original position and that would be the maximum movement made by any hand, isn't it? So if you try to calculate what is this total distance in terms of degree, you would say sir, this total distance hai, it is equivalent to 360. Now can I say that this 360 degree movement has been divided equally among these 12 gaps? So, if you count the number of gaps, these are 12 equal gaps. So, what we have done, we have divided this 360 degree distance equally among 12 gaps. If I have a gap ka value, nikalne karunga, you would say, sir, the value of one gap would be 360 divided by 12. That in turn will give you 30 degree. It means if someone asks you, what is the value of one gap? What is the value of one gap in terms of degree? You would say, sir, it is 30 degree. Another thing, I hope most of us are already aware, the value of same one gap in terms of minute is 5. The same 30 degree can be represented in terms of minute as 5. Simple. Now, after understanding this basic concept, it's time to start with the main concept of this topic. So, in the first concept, we are going to talk about movement made by minute hand and hour hand in terms of degree. Now to understand this concept, let's say the time in clock is 3. So if it is 3, the hour hand, which is the shorter hand, would be at 3, while the minute hand, it would be at 12. This would be the position of two hands at 3 o'clock. Uh, now what I want you to realize that what will be the position of these two hands after one hour. So first, let us focus on minute hand only. So if I see the movement made by minute hand in one hour, you would say, sir, minute hand will come back to its original position after one hour. So, after one hour, the total movement made by minute hand is 360 degree. Now, can I write down the same thing as one hour can be represented as 60 minutes? That in 60 minutes, the total movement is 360. And now, let us calculate the movement made by same minute hand, but in one minute. So, eight minute make kitna movement. You would say, sir, 360 by 60. That is what? That is 6 degree. So, what we have to understand from here, if someone asks me, what is the total movement which minute hand make in one minute of time? You would say, sir, in one minute, minute hand just moves by 6 degree. Let us try to do the same calculation for our hand. In the same time duration, if I ask you, what is the total movement made by our hand? You would say, sir, after one hour, the same hour hand would be pointing at this position towards four. So, what is this total distance moved by our hand in one hour? You would say, sir, in the same one hour duration, our hand will just move by 30 degree. So, let us again try to find out what is the movement made by our hand in one minute. And for that, let me first write down one hour as 60 minutes. And now, to find out the movement made by our hand in one minute, what would you do? We'll just divide this 30 by 60. And this in turn will give you the movement half degree. Or this can also be written as 0 0.5 degree. So in one minute, our hand only moves by half a degree or 0 0.5 degree. And this is very crucial for us. This is something which we are going to use in our first type of question. Please remember, the speed of our hand per minute is 0 0.5 degree, right? Now, after understanding this, the movement made by our hand in one minute, some of you must be thinking, sir, what is the use of this concept? So, let me give you an example. 
Tomorrow, if I ask you, what is the total movement made by our hand in 20 minutes? So to do this calculation, you need to use this learning. What learning? That in one minute, our hand moves by half a degree. Since I want to find the movement in 20 minutes, what I'll do? I'll just take half of 20. That would be 10 degree. Right? So to find out the movement made by our hand in any time duration, I can use this concept. So after understanding this, let's see the application of this concept. So let us start with the first type where the agenda would be to find out angle between minute hand and hour hand. So a time would be given to you. In our case, the time is 120 and we have to find angle between minute hand and hour hand. Right. Now to do this, there are few steps which I have to follow. And let's talk about these steps one by one. So the first step would be that you are going to pick a reference time. So start with our reference time. Now what time to pick as your reference time? Since the time for which I want to find angle is 120. So pick a time for which you are aware about the exact position of minute hand and hour hand. Ek aisa time pick karo. This time pe tumhe exact position pata hai minute hand and hour hand. And please also make sure ki wo time tumhare given time just time ke liye tumko angle calculate karna hai us time ke kaafi close ho. So 1 o'clock ek aisa time hai, jab main minute hand and hour hand ka exact position dikha sakta hon. So let me show you the position of minute hand and hour hand at 1 o'clock. So you would say, sir, at 1 o'clock, the shorter hand, yes, the hour hand would be pointing at 1, while the minute hand must be pointing at 12, isn't it? Now what is the next step? The next step is to follow the condition. Follow the condition. What condition? I am going to show the position of minute hand and hour hand at 120 because for this time I want to find out the angle. Right? If I am trying to do so, you will face a challenge. What challenge? It is easy to show the position of minute hand at 120 but if I ask you to give me the exact position of hour hand at this time, you would say, sir, this would be a little difficult. I know that it would be somewhere in between 1 and 2, but I cannot tell you the exact position. And therefore, in the same step, I am going with an assumption. What assumption? That our hand is stationary. Our hand will not move at all. So, if I use this, I would say our hand will be at this position only. And if this is true, if this is true, Please try to find out the angle between two hands. What is the angle between two hands? You would say, sir, the total distance is from 1 to 4. The hour hand is at 1, while the minute hand is at 4. What is this total distance? So, from 1 to 4, the total number of gaps are 3. The value of one gap in terms of degree, something which we had discussed in the last slide, it's 30 degree. So, 3 gaps ka value kitna hoga, you would say, sir, the value of 3 gaps would be 90 degree. So, at this point, at step number 2, you would say, sir, the answer of my question would be 90 degree. But in actuality, I know 90 degree can never be my answer. This is not how real clock works. When minute hand moves from this position to this position, means when minute hand will move from this point to this point, our hand will also move, although the speed of our hand is slow, but it will move by some degree. So now in the third step, we are going to realize the movement made by our hand in the same time duration. So what is step number three? We'll realize the movement made by our hand in the given time duration. So what I'm asking you to do now? In 20 minutes, what is the movement made by our hand? And that is step number three for us. So in 20 minutes, I want to calculate the movement made by our hand. Now this is so easy, something which I discussed in the very start. In one minute, what I know, our hand moves by half a degree. Remember, here we have discussed the speed of our hand per minute, it moves by half a degree. So if one minute mein half degree, so in 20 minutes, 20 minutes mein kitna movement? You would say, sir, half of 20, half of 20 is 10 degree. Iska matlab, jab minute hand 12 se 4 pe aa raha hai, our hand will also move. Our hand will not be at 1. Our hand bhi move karega. Aur kyunki our hand, kyunki jo movement hai, wo hamesha clockwise direction mein hooga, 
सो इफ यू लुक एट केयरफुली आर हैंड इज कमिंग क्लोज टू मिनट हैंड आर हैंड यहाँ पे मिनट हैंड पे क्लोज आ रहा है इसीलिए जो भी मूवमेंट आर हैंड ने किया है वी आर गोइंग टू सब्रैक्ट इट फ्रॉम the angle which we had calculated in step number 2 since step 2 what we were speculating we were speculating that the answer of my question should be 90 degree but since i know this is not how real clock works so in step 3 we realized the movement made by our hand in the same time duration it is 10 degree ab 10 degree ko plus karenge ki minus it depends agar our hand is coming close to if it is coming towards minute hand to us case mein hum subtract karenge एंड इफ द सेम आर हैंड इज गोइंग अवे अगर वो दूर जा रहा है मिनट हैंड से तो हमने सेम मूवमेंट को एड किया होता बट इन दिस केस वी आर गोइंग टू सब्रैक्ट एंड देर फोर द फाइनल आंसर ऑफ माई क्वेश्चन वुड बी एटी डिग्री सो दिस इज हाउ वी यूज दिस कॉन्सेप्ट टू फाइंड आउट एंगल्स आई होप यू वर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ टू गिव यू सम मोर कॉन्फिडेंस लेट मी डिस्कस वन मोर क्वेश्चन नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन वट एम ट्राइंग टू डू आई ट्राई टू reduce the number of steps as much as we can so we'll focus on optimization now so please listen it very carefully this time again i want to find out angle and the time is 10:40 so if you remember the first step was to pick a reference time so what i can do now i can skip that step and i can directly start with step 2 in step 2 what we used to do we used to show the position of minute hand and hour hand for the given time the time is 10:40 so let me show you first the position of minute hand we would say sir minute hand would be at 8 right and since it is challenging for me to show the exact position of our hand so i'll go by an assumption that our hand is not moving at all and if it is not moving i'll not move our hand so i'll show our hand at 10 only if this is true please let me know the angle between minute hand and our hand tum bologe sir in dono ke beech mein distance hai two gaps ka the value of one gap is 30 degree and therefore the value of two gaps would be 60 degree so what i'm speculating that answer of my question is 60 degree but i know in reality this is not how real clock works jab minute hand yahan se yahan move kiya hoga in the same time duration our hand will also move it will somewhere in between 10 and 11 so let us realize the movement made by our hand now to so, ek minute mein our hand move karta kitna hai upper degree so in the same time duration in what time duration in 40 minutes in these 40 minutes what is the movement made by our hand you would say sir half of 40 20 degree now the important question is is 20 degree ko plus karna hai ki minus karna hai so let us see how our hand is moving if you look at our hand our hand is moving away this time our hand is moving away from minute hand and therefore the value of angle will increase so to increase it i should add and then you would realize that answer of my this question is 80 degree so this is how i can find out angle between the two hands very easily by using this concept now another thing i want you to realize instead of giving you answer as 80 degree they present the same answer to you in some different form in a reflex angle form and then what you need to do you need to convert your answer in the form of reflex angle what is a reflex angle a reflex angle is an angle whose value is more than 180 degree in order to convert your calculated answer your this answer in terms of reflex what should you do see the total value of angle is 360 out of 360 if you just remove this much this much which is 80 in our case so if you remove 80 from 360 you would be able to find out answer from the other side so just remove 80 from 360 and you will get another way of writing the same answer that would be 280 right so you need to be a little careful about such things and uh, from where would you get the idea just look at the answer options carefully in answer options if you you find options with more than 180 degree value so this is a indicator for you that answers have been calculated in a reflex angle form now if you have understood these two questions i want you to attempt two more questions so these are your homework and uh, you can apply whatever we have learned in the last two and please check whether you have actually understood the concept or not once you get your answer what you can do you can write down your answer in the youtube comment box so with this we have come to the end of first lecture don't worry 
there are many more conceptual videos yet to come on the same topic in coming days i hope you were able to follow everything if not please use the comment box uh, i make sure that i answer your queries within 24 hours at last i just want to say if you have really liked this session please like share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day